Uh, Josh is an Arsenal fan. Josh, you think Arsenal can still win this title, despite the fact you've bottled it two weeks in a row? Well, listen, the thing is, I believe in my club, all right? Like that photographer, okay? I love my club, and I still believe if we win at Etihad or draw at the Etihad, we will win the title. Now, I know we've bottled it, and I know Saliba has been missing for a few weeks, and it's now starting to appear. I totally agree with you on that. I thought Gabriel looked a little bit nervy today as well. Is that because he's not got his mate alongside him and because he didn't have Zinchenko on the left side of that back four either? Yes, totally agree. Totally agree. Uh, listen, I think Zinchenko's... Sorry, sorry to cut you. I think Zinchenko's... I, I think Saliba is massive as well. And that just... what When you've got a, a secure partnership, all four, and that's what Arsenal's had the whole season. So, of course, you're going to start seeing cracks. But the, the, the experience Zinchenko's got... And listen, I, I'm the same. I actually thought Jesus was taking the sting out of the game. He was dropping deep. He was trying to change the momentum. And that's what somebody that's won the Premier League. And Zinchenko's done that as well. And I think that's a massive miss as well from what... Arsenal's got sorry it was a bit silent because I was watching uh, Man United having a tap but I'm with you in that I do think that you're starting to see and I, I, I said winner takes all I think if you do beat um, City at the Etihad I, I, I think you go on and win the league Look, we are the best team in the country for a reason okay and we will go to the Etihad if you want to win the title that is where you need to go and win so are you confident so there's we, we know what you've got to do so after these two games, are you still confident? Because, of course, we know what you have to do. Are you confident that you're going to go to the Etihad and get a result? I am very, very confident. This is our second blip of the season. Everyone's having blips left, right, centre. Chelsea has been in a blip since August. You understand? And Arsenal haven't really dropped off like this. We've had a few injuries, but we've always seen it through. But for the first time, the Rolls-Royce isn't around, and we're now starting to see it. But this is the business end of the season, no? This is the bit when the pressure starts ramping up and this is where you this yeah. is where the experience kicks in which Man United um, sorry, which Arsenal are they, they haven't got. So I get the blip but this would be the wrong time to have the blip. Yeah, look, the the, the, pr the pressure is rising as you know, you can see with Saka's p penalty missed today. You yeah, know, it's a poor penalty it, there. It. Also, can I just say one thing while I've got you on the phone, guys? Great show as always, but one thing that really annoys me is DJ Akin Fenwa. DJ? <laughs> yeah, you're, the way you wear your headphones. Oh, <laughs> you know, I get that all the time. I, I don't listen. I don't like being too restricted with headphones, so I only like to cover one. But I get it all the time. But that's the reason why, though, because when I wear two, I feel too restricted. You know me. I don't even like buttoning up my collars all the way to the top. I, I, I tell you what, jo I tell you what, Josh. Is that's the only thing about Bayo that annoys you. You're doing better than me. I don't listen to it, Josh. You're my guy, my brother. Uh, cheers oh, for the I call. Oh, 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 three seven one seven double two double three double four.